what's up, Sneaker Freaks and Freakettes? It's your boy, Sneaker Freak 127. And? My name is Joseph. How's you doing? Joe? Joseph? Um, you can follow him on Instagram. Ball is my life, Joe. Where are the underscores at? Uh, underscore. Ball is my life, Joe. There you go. There's only one. Ball is my life, Joe. One underscore. underscore. All right. Okay. Um, we're here uh, because we went on a run today for some sixes. We're, uh, we're still on the run. Um, like Beyonce and Jay-Z, trying to get some uh, eights, eight and a halves for our man, um, and a couple other sizes, but uh, until then, while we have a little break, we're going to give you a quick peek. Joe here, he's going to show you, um, so I guess you got the box right here, standard box, standard, standard Jordan, I guess she's six, she's coming in, she buys the little hinge, alright. What do you think about this colorway, Joe? I mean, I prefer, prefer other colorways, but I'd say it was a decent, solid material. It has a good suede material to it, too, so. Yeah, its quality is pretty good. Um, you know, everyone always uh, complains sometimes about the retros. Yeah. For the, what does retro mean? Retro means they just bring them back. Bring them back, yes. Bring them Sneaker back. kids and um, new people in the game. Retro does not mean hype. Or does that mean like really cool things? Retro doesn't mean oh man this shoe is awesome. Or does it mean quick strike? No, retro means that a shoe or something that is retro has come out before and is coming back out. So when some styles have retro, it's the style isn't new. Like the Timberlands now that we've seen nowadays, that's all retro. Like phone posits, phone posits. the Charles Barkley posits, you name it. All retro. Already came out before. So you know, um, for a lot of you guys think that you're the you know you knew about it. Nah, you know, we've been on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, what, we, what I do like about this is a 3M, yeah, right? It does come with a 3M in it, that's But, this, hey. this, this, infrared, infrared, 2014 versus the OG infrared. You can totally see, can you see the difference? You can see the difference, this is a lighter pink compared to the OG, which was... Right. Uh, we actually have a custom that we're about to finish up here for Joe Lapatan um, at Bay Flip. At Bay Flip, um, as you can see, he tried to do an infrared. He tried to match it, but when he tried to match it with the 2014, it's darker. Which, you know, for some of the OG Jordan heads, we like that. But you know, I think they're just trying to retro it a little bit, make it a little change, um, as as they add a 3M. But uh. Yeah, on, on the flip side, yeah, it's a really good shoe, good suede material, but just beware, the pink is very light. Yeah, the pink it's is not very light. as red so. as you say. But, you know what I mean? For those of us who love the Jordan 6, it's definitely a great shoe to add to the collection, and who knows when it'll come back out in retro. Alright, um, we're going to be doing some uh, Columbia Legend Blue early releases and uh, pre-orders, so stay tuned for that. Um, and stay tuned as uh, 2015 starts a, a big year for the reemergence of Soul Survivor. Um, hopefully, got some uh, you know new people to add to the team. We'll see about that. Don't want to promise because you know expectations always often lead to disappointments. Yeah, I won't right? disappoint this guy. Trust me. Ah, don't worry, don't worry. I have no expectations for any of that. Anymore. All right. So uh, yeah, make sure you're following uh, Real Soul Survivor, the company. Um, website is www.soulsurvivor.us. Once again, I'm at Sneaker Freak 127. If you want to um, see what I'm about, what I do during the day, um, privately, um, and also underscore Ball is my life, Joe. Yeah. So peace. Y'all take care. Okay.